When it comes to cars, the first thing you're likely thinking about is a metal box with four wheels. But with each passing year, there's more and more technology headed into our cars. From autonomous driving to how you play your music, there's an increasing demand for processing power in cars. That's seen traditional technology companies such as Qualcomm increase their work in the automotive sector. At Mobile World Congress 2022, Qualcomm reinforced its automotive offerings. Here's Chief Marketing Officer Don McGuire on what Qualcomm was showing off. An exciting show for automotive this year. We have a couple of really big announcements. We've made upgrades to the Snapdragon digital chassis around Snapdragon automotive connectivity as well as Snapdragon ride platforms. So it's really full, filling in the full value proposition around the digital chassis here at the show this year. Now the key term you might have heard there is digital chassis. We're all familiar with cars having a chassis, the thing that holds the car together. So what exactly is a digital chassis? Here's Don again. The Snapdragon digital chassis is basically akin to what automakers used to think of when they were building a mechanical chassis. The digital chassis really enables the digital transformation of the automobile across connectivity and telematics, infotainment digital cockpit, displays, ADAS, and well as autonomy and electrification for increased safety. So that's really what the digital chassis is all about and we've brought all those technologies together into a massive platform that's open and scalable that allows automakers to build services on top of it and that's what we call the Snapdragon Digital Chassis. There's really two sides to what's happening here. Rather than just focusing on the connectivity or the infotainment system, similar to what Qualcomm is known for from its smartphone platform. That's going to include all those fancy displays in the car, perhaps the digital wing mirrors, as well as providing the power to run the software layer like Android Automotive, for example. And there's also the driving side of the car, all the processing needed for today's advanced systems. ADAS, which is Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, covers a wider range of features both for safety and convenience, including things like lane departure warnings, automated parking or automatic braking, all of which will require lots of data to be analyzed at lightning fast speeds to make sure those systems take the right action. Then you have autonomous or self-driving features, which also require massive real-time analysis of data from the car's sensors to ensure the car behaves in a safe fashion and makes the right decisions on the road. It might seem like a bit of a jump from powering phones to cars, but ultimately it's all about data processing and transmission. You might not know that your car is using the Snapdragon digital chassis because all this happens behind the scene. But the system is being used by the likes of General Motors, BMW, Renault and Ferrari. So, can we expect to see Snapdragon branding on cars in the future? We asked Don. We work across all top 25 automakers with our Snapdragon solutions, but specifically to the digital chassis, we've announced our partnership with General Motors, our partnership with BMW, with Renault, and recently with Ferrari. And how big is this part of the business for Qualcomm? Today, primarily, our relationship is with the auto manufacturers as they look to have a closer connection to the technology companies providing them technology for their cars. In the future, we hope Snapdragon actually drives consideration and preference with consumers as they're walking in to buy a new vehicle to make sure they're getting the best technology that's driving the experiences inside the vehicle. The wonderful thing about Qualcomm and our technologies and our inventions is that we have one technology roadmap that scales from mobile all the way through to areas like automotive, industry 4.0, compute, XR, and the metaverse. So we are able to leverage our technologies and the platforms that we build across multiple product categories, serving multiple industries. So while you might think about smartphones when you hear the name Snapdragon, Qualcomm is pushing these technologies to much larger mobile devices like the car on your driveway.